Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. Yeah. It's been a long time, but it, it looks fantastic. I Thank love it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it has been a long time. I feel like I haven't seen you in person. I haven't seen you on our TV screens. What's going on? Uh, look, life changed for me uh, a few years ago. I got given an opportunity to do something a little bit different and I uh, thought about long and hard and snapped it up and I've just haven't looked back. I absolutely love it. So what are you doing right now? Right now? Right now I've uh, dived into the world of real estate oh. and in particular auctioneering. Oh, so wow. uh, I've, I'm the uh, Harcourts Cooper & Co auction manager yeah. and I love uh, auctioning property and the psychology of auctioning a property and the psychology of dealing with, with people and, and, and expectations and obviously what is a very um, uh, high paced and nervous environment. Oh God, I'll mm. say, you even just say auction and I feel really stressed. Mm. Well, you know, we went to auction on this. this no, is tell me about it. How are um, you feeling? Oh, it was horrific. Yeah. Every emotion under the sun, yeah, it's great, all in isn't that it? isn't it wonderful? 15 yeah. minutes. No, yeah. it's not wonderful. It's terrible. <laughs> I was angry. Yeah. I was excited. Oh, I was hopeful. Oh, I was doing... <laughs> I know, I know. And, and I was frightened to scratch my nose. That's, that's, it. It. that's Well, it. I can tell you something. It's a big secret, all right? Okay. No one's ever accidentally bought a property. Is that oh, okay. okay. You're okay. You can do that. And, yeah. So what's your personality as an auctioneer? I said I believe that, that um, people make good decisions when they're at ease, yeah. when they understand what's going on and when they're calm. So I, I bring that through. I mean, there's, it's certainly when you're buying millions of dollars of real estate, you, you're, you're not buying a used car, or you're not yeah. buying a cattle or something like that. It's, an, it's a big decision that you probably make four or five times on average in a lifetime. Yeah. So uh, mine is a very assuring and, and calm and make sure that you understand very clearly what's going on. So. Yeah, I feel calm actually, thank you. That's very calm. That's okay. <laughs> so you've been doing the auctioneering awards. So you, you were competing. Yep. For an, and tell me all about that. Yeah, well, they, they, you do go through um, a process in New Zealand with the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand. They, they have the National Auctioneer Champions and the, and the, and, and the champion of that auctioneer uh, competition represents New Zealand at the Australasian competitions. And right. we have a very, very strong pedigree in, in the auctioneers in New Zealand. We're, we're held in, in very high regard. Yeah. It's like the Olympics. Uh, yeah, well, it is, isn't it? but it's a, it's, it's a, it's a conceived sort of um, environment. Yeah. Um, you're given a property and, and, and you auction it off in front of a, a room full of peers and real estate agents and people who have come into the industry to watch and, uh, and you're thrown into this unreal environment and out of those 29 um, a, a, auctioneers who have put themselves forward to do that, the best in the country, it's narrowed down to six and those six people make the final and they wake up at six o'clock the next morning to view a house or view, and this, this year it was, a, it was a boat shed in the Oraki Basin. Uh, and you view that, and then at between that and two o'clock, you've got to write up the property description, read the uh, the LIM report, read the, the, the council consent for this. And, uh, Sounds exhausting. It, it, well, it's just fantastic. It sh shows the true skill of an auctioneer because yeah. one, you yeah. just don't call out numbers, and you just don't stand up. One, you've got to be um, you've got to be a good salesperson. You have to be uh, charming. You've got to know your maths, charming. but you also have to be a legal a legal mind as well. A real, a, real estate yeah. legal mind so they can throw at any question so as you walk up to the front to do those auction competitions in this environment um, you you start off by giving your character description of the property and selling it sort of in the way it is and then you read out the conduct of auction and make sure that you're clear with that and then somebody will ask you a question out of the blue yeah. a, a legal question and you have to be able to switch on really quickly yeah. and answer that question in a really calm and concise manner and then uh, another question will come and then you start the bidding and the bidding is uh, is, is not like anything you get on the street. You know, it starts and it starts fast, and they're throwing numbers at you. Yeah. In a, in Give us a burst. I love right. the kind well, of banter. All right. Well, at 17.25, one million, 7.25. I searched down another, another 25 to take me to three quarters of 7.50. I see it over there. I'll so buy surely it. you bounce back at 7.75. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not on the market yet and selling. Okay, but it's really good. Okay, it's and then it goes fast. like that. And somebody then goes at seven, and I'll give you 35. Or well, at 7.50, that takes me to 85. And then if I give you 20 more, that's 1805. So you've got a mass has got to be really quick oh. on that. And then someone will turn up and say, Oh, excuse me, Mr. Auctioneer. You know, I've got a, an issue with the, the title on this one. What do you? Can you give me some surrounding details around that? And you answer the question. And then the other person says, Well. Actually, Mr. Go, I retract my last bid. So then you've got to remember where the last bid came from and stuff. Oh and my you've God. got to do it with all the, the calmness of a duck on top of the water. Yeah, I said, that's exactly yeah. how that felt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a lot. It's it's an awful lot of fun. But you've got to. But but selling real estate by auction, you must have people feel calm because it's a massive decision to make. And yeah. I think that's um, that's where I'm really proud of of, of my team of, of six. 
who, um, who includes the national champion, includes the Australasian champion, includes the finalist, includes the runner-up. So we have a, a massive amount of knowledge, but we train very hard for it. It's not just turn up on a Saturday and Sunday and play. You know, we get together in a, in a room of auctioneers and we fire numbers at each other all the time. We fire questions and we wow. and we talk about it. It's it's we, we, we you know you're selling a pretty big asset for somebody, so yeah. you want to be fantastic. It sounds at it. really intense. Yeah, it's really great fun. Intense. Yeah. But listen, you haven't been doing this very long, so no. you're already managing all these people, mm. all these award winners, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And how long have you been doing it? Uh, well, I've been in real estate now for three years, but I've been auctioneering for two. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But, I mean, uh, that's pretty quick. Uh, it, it, it is quick. Yeah. But, but Kath, I, you know, you've known me for a long time now. And <laughs> <laughs> one of the things I do is. Um, if you want to decide to do something, you, you do it. You, you don't half pie do something. Not when you're dealing with those sort of numbers, right? The, yeah. the million dollar homes and stuff. You've, you, you actually owe the person the respect of actually knowing your stuff. So how much has being an actor mm. helped you? I mean, it's kind of cheating. You mm. could go into any, <laughs> any career and go, right, I'll just act yeah. brilliant No, it's a, it's a great question. It's one of the things I, I did worry about. Quite a lot for, for exactly the opposite thing of what you're saying. Yeah. You know, from a vendor's point of view or a seller's point of view, is is, is he oh. acting? Is he, is he acting? Telling me this? Well, yeah. You know, I, I can't stop that. Yeah. I can't, but I but I'm not. But, you know, but my, seriously, my I, yeah. I would freak out if I went to an auction. I'd be like, oh my god, it's Shane auctioneer. People yeah. will be like, isn't he famous? Like I know him <laughs> off the TV screens. Yeah. Do you ever get that? Yes, and I'm a lot taller in real life. So yeah. <laughs> you don't have to laugh at that one. <laughs> Uh, well, it, there are two ways you can take that. One, it either breaks the ice, or, or two, it's, it's an elephant in the room. You just get over yeah. and, and, and do. Yeah. And so, what about acting now? Mm. Is that on the back burner? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, what a yeah. shame! I'm mm. sad. My mother-in-law is going to be heartbroken. Oh, I'm sure. You know, <laughs> millions of oh. all over the world, all over yeah, New sure. Zealand at least. Sure. No. Mother-in-laws are, are crying. But, uh, yeah, yeah, no, not really. Look, it, it's it's something. Here's here's the thing, and why I made that decision to do that. I'd been. Um, treading the boards and been on screen now for the best part of a quarter of a century and I have a lot of fun. It was great and just the fire in the belly wasn't wasn't happening and yeah. and I got two of the most beautiful boys in the world and I got tired of Skyping them and I got tired of being there and and you know it's this unreal environment sometimes but but I'm not saying that that was not a part of life I, I didn't enjoy. Boy, I had the, the greatest time and I met the greatest people and I still am befriends, befriended to an awful lot of people in the industry, both behind and in front of, in front of camera. And it was, um, it was part of my life that, that I'll never forget. And I've taken a lot of lessons from that part of life into, into my new job, I, and I have. But I just wanted a bit of focus and clarity in my life as well. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you so happy and yep. being successful, yep. and I'm sure you'll be successful at anything you choose to do. Thank you so much for joining it's us. Good to see you. Thank you.